Welcome to EWA Havoc. New year, new start. We're live in El Paso, Texas. We go worldwide tonight. And we're going to kick it off with the new women's champion, Christina Hernandez. Won a triple threat match last week at Christmas Carnage. Strong words from our women's champion. So we're kicking off the action in 2020 with the former women's champion Helena. facing Laura Smith we're gonna sell out here tonight in El Paso Go witness some of the premier women's division. Laura Smith, a former women's champion, about the first in the company's history. Tonight, Helena. Fated by a loss, oh, and a kick to the jaw and into the cover immediately. Kicking that knee, those kicks from Helena, dangerous. Gaining the early pace in the match. Laura cutting her off, the elbow to the back. Helena catching the foot. Nails the backbreaker. And the side effect. And they're going risky early. Oh, and a springboard frog splash catching Laura. And 
Goldberg pushes her off, kicks to the knee. And a suplex. Followed by a second. And that fisherman suplex. Both women pop up into that modified face buster. And Laura going up top. So they get up and Helena catching her on a power bomb. Back into the corner, catches a knee. And you know enough as Laura to get the arm drag. And then the shining wizard. So Laura oh, pulling on that knee. Elena floats over reverse DDT. That straight jacket into the net breaker. Both these women, you know, they're more than capable of that arm wrench suplex and then stamping on the arm. On a DDT. Helena up top this time. Oh, going for the shooting star press misses. Laura into the cover. Doesn't even get a one. Helena over oh, the forearm. Laura sends Elena into the corner, knife is chop. And the boot just stomping away. But a slingshot leg drop over the back of the head. Oh going for the axe kick got caught. Elena with a red wedding. To the cover. Laura able to get out at two. Elena gets up in the crucifix. A sit out power bomb. Need a woman backing down. So lighting her off the top of the, of the blockbuster into the cover. Again, Laura out at two. Oh, and Elena accidentally hits the referee. Then Segure and Laura taking advantage with the axe kick. So cover gets a one. A one count there and over oh, the DDT. Goes into cover, but Helena's foot under the bottom rope. A bit of poor ring awareness there from Laura. Snap me and then the rear choke. Well, Elena back to her feet. Goes to the ribs. And a spear. And 
Laura getting out at two. Again, Helena with a red wedding. And Laura getting out at two. But Elena not wasting time, just going straight on the attack. Cousin frustration that took it to the outside, and Laura using the environment well. Going for the net breaker. Down and I got that spinning net breaker. Oh, going for another axe kick. It's Elena up, but until the ropes and Laura sunset flip. And Elena reverses it. Oh, kick blocked. Along with the DDT for the second time. But again, Elena's foot. The only thing that saved her there. Shots to the head in the corner. Fighting out, and there's that leg drop to the back of the head, and Lena stomping on a spear. Going a flatliner into the submission hold. Laura trying to fight her way out. Elena releasing it, but she. So, of course, she might choke Laura out. Mad done, and Elena picks up the win. Go to the replays. Elena blocked the axe kick. Drilled a blockbuster. And Laura got the axe kick with the referee down the DDT. She did it twice in the same place. Laura had a foot on, and Helena had a foot under the rope. Well, Helena picking up the first win of the year. But now we're going to be. From Kevin Eldon, who returned a month ago, beat Marsden last week at Christmas Carnage in that brutal street fight.
was sounding like Kevin Elden wanted to go after the World Heavyweight Championship. Although, from what we've heard in the last week, Thomas Dobson has not re-signed the contract. Remember, Dobson's contract was up midnight on Christmas Day and he won the World Heavyweight Championship. In the moment, we've got no World Heavyweight Champion. focus back on to next it's going to be a rematch from last week Christmas carnage Jennifer Christine and Lauren Jones Lauren won with the use of the cross face Both of these women definitely on a collision course. They're both wanting to get back in the hunt for the women's championship. and Lauren definitely the two premier talents in the division Lauren going with a suplex into the net breaker that caught Jennifer a little bit off guard Jennifer delivering a suplex of her own This might be what Lauren wants to avoid. Don't get into a wrestling match with Jennifer, but Jennifer on the other hand does not want to get into a brawling game. With Lauren and just both of these women, two completely different styles, and again, along with that suplex, drops it with a neck breaker. Also, a move we've been seeing Kevin Elden use recently, and we you know, both Kevin and Lauren train together. Jennifer misses the knee in the corner, Fireman's carry. Gets up in the crucifix, and a sit out power bomb. So, cover and only gets a one. Both of these women, in. oh, face first. It's that middle turnbuckle, but kicking the knee away and nails it with the head scissors. And Jennifer rocked. Going with that knee. And drops the knee over the back of the head. Jennifer falls to the outside and the elbow over the back of the head there and an evil woman situation wants to give an inch. 
training shots Jennifer with a fireman's carry and a famous sir coming off the middle rope with a blockbuster and a code breaker Jennifer on prettier to the cover and only gets a two the Pele women and Lauren setting her up Going for the Queen Driver. Don't work out. On it. Jennifer got caught. There's the uppercut. And the modified net breaker. Lauren taking control back. Jennifer out before one there. And Lauren, oh, took her off the ball and go drop kick. Lauren with that quick head scissors. Jennifer job break on oh, This is a kick to the jaw. Long with a pele. And that running knee. To a cover. Can Long pick up another win? Oh, Jennifer barely out at two. I'm coming off the top misses and Jennifer with a sharpshooter sharpshooter locked in tight Lauren picks a leg kicks her off and a German suplex kick to the hip and a running knee now the momentum shifting oh my god the cutter could be it but Jennifer caught to it Another sharpshooter. Lauren, Lauren, no, no option but to tap out. Jennifer picking up the win. Lauren going for the clothesline and Jennifer firing off in the clothesline to the floor. Lauren letting emotion get the better of her. Back to the action. We're going to see Kevin Eldon in action tonight. To his win at Christmas Carnage, making Marsden tap out. 
So he's going to face Chris Mountjoy. Mountjoy not waiting. Mountjoy not even letting Eldon get to the ring. Assault on the stage and Mountjoy backing off a little. There's that knee to the ribs. So the shoulder and Eldon with a forearm on the ramp. Eldon gained the action down to ringside. Actually launched into the barrier. Eldon using the ring steps and both men. They're exchanged in the early going and Eldon with a knee. So the stump to the back. Jay battling back and oh Nels the back breaker. Oh, Eldon with a kick to the gut after the missed shooting star press. Here with a kick, Eldon, jawbreaker. Turning the tide, Mount Joe with a fireman's carry. Eldon fighting off and running knee to the ribbon, then kicks. Back up on the running knee. Eldon turned the tide and get on that knee. Eldon using that combination brilliantly. They're fighting back right to the eyes. So the side effect. Eldon got the double knee. Diving knee from the middle rope. You know, it normally leads to a springboard knee strike. Eldon firing up the V trigger. Cataclysm. So the cover. Mount Joy out at two. Eldon drops the elbow. Oh, fair enough again with those quick strikes. crawling towards the corner Melden not letting up misses a 450 Melden missed the his forearm and that cobra clutch slam Mount Joy might have been going for that pal driver. Caught an Eldon. Quick to react, double knee. Oh, top of the 450 splash. Mount Joy again out at two. It's Eldon going for the Eldon driver, gets reversed. And the clothesline.
they're going for the Mount of Doom, Eldon reverses look at Eldon driver arm wrench so the cover only gets a one Matt Joe with a power driver into a cover but Eldon had time to recuperate Mount Joy Mount of Doom only gets a one dropping that huge elbow Mount Joy going for a line salt misses Eldon line salt his own catches him with the knees Eldon not a cut screw sent on and another line salt a springboard moon salt Eldon, this time with the Eldon driver and Matt J out at two Eldon, oh, the, this is a move he used against Marsden that modified dragon sleeper Mount Joy able to fight out the snapmare. Eldon, oh, quick knee to the ribs. Speed of the strikes and up top. 450 splash to the cover. Just getting that two count. Eldon lining it up going to the Eldon cutter oh Matt Joe with the insecurity only gets a one Eldon the world with all to roll out of the ring baited Mount Joy in a disaster kick this is a springboard moonsault Eldon with that shot no into the fireman's carry Eldon fight it's back with that forearm Jay again a cobra clutch side slam And Eldon out at two. Do that knee over the back of the neck. Going for the Mount of Doom, Eldon gets out of it. Back suplex. Go for the second time for the cataclysm. And Eldon picks up the win. Back at the replays. Not 
and so using that power driver And continuing where he left off in 2019. Now we're being joined by the former World Heavyweight Champion Hugo Hernandez. Let's say Well, Hernandez. Hernandez having fun, but this is going to be a rematch from Christmas Carnage. Television Championship on the line, Rickaby. Looking to get the Television Championship back. Dave Walker looking to retain it. Go, our new television champion. And our first look at the new television championship belt here on Havoc. Looks 
speaking of championships we're just hearing that the world heavyweight championship situation will be addressed next week First to defend against Rickaby. to do here, use that speed to counteract the power and walk straight out there with a clothesline <laughs> belly to belly Rook be fighting back. A side effect and caught and splash in the corner. And walk with that power advantage. Be getting out of there, punches to the head and modified sling blade. A bit, oh, that cobra cut side slam. A slight modification on it. Dropping the fist and now. Look at that waist lock. Look at me go behind and knees to the back in the reverse DDT. Look at me in momentary control. But Walker takes him down the elbow to the shoulder. Look by a kick to the back. Okay, this could be bad. Got him rookie down face first. And the backbreaker. And walk with a power. Be struggling to get up using the ropes and walk it instantly with a power bomb into the turnbuckle. Might have been going for the spine buster, Rickaby floats over. That knife is chopped.
And he takes Walker to the floor. Walker regaining control. It's that elbow from Rickaby and Got the elbow and then a spine buster. Walker kick to the gut. So it could be oh my god the walk over. And Walker retains. Back of the replays, Rickaby. Fighting for all he was worth. Then got caught by the spine buster. That was the beginning of the end. Walker with that walk over that power bomb. Able to pick up the win and retain the television championship. So it's main event time, the first main event of 2020. And we're going to see Keith Bunting take on Hernandez. to mention the next time we're on pay-per-view will be January 19th for EWA Redemption but here he is the Valencian King the animal tonight and the look of it gonna have some anger to work out to losing the World Heavyweight Championship with Thomas Dobson not under contract Can't go after his rematch. Bunting the poor unfortunate opponent tonight. Fernandez just running through him. There's the first German suplex. No 
no, they come in threes. Fernandez in control. That first suplex. The second, we're going for the three amigos. And there's not wasting time. Bunting the wisely rolls to his stomach. And there's going back to the well. And gets a suplex in return. And then there's Bunting caught the foot. And there's a side effect, and Hernandez wisely rolls to the outside. Bunting taking time and clothesline over the back of the head. Again, Hernandez going for the suplex. Caught Bunting another suplex of his own. Picture perfect drop kick forces Hernandez to the floor. Hernandez catches him, going for that belly to belly. Bunting with the arm drag. He's back in, but got caught. And there's up top. Black sandal over the back. Now Bunting in trouble, and again, Hernandez going for the three amigos. And a frog splash shades of El Paso's own Eddie Guerrero. And just takes his head off. Brutal clothesline. Bunting in the water, trouble on a spear. Bunting out at two. Oh wait a minute, Bunting serious trouble. It's an Anders with a Huey bomb. Bunting fighting to survive the Thunders misses a cent on. Oh wait a minute, but Bunting going for that knee face but got caught. That belly to belly going for the Germans again. And there's he fought out the double knee. Bunting taking his time. That could come back to bite him, but Bunting off the top of the blockbuster. To Hernandez going for a short DDT but got caught. And Bunting with a back suplex. I'm going to work on that shoulder. Again, Hernandez catches the foot. Spins Bunting around and on a spear. Spear and Hernandez going for the finish. A second Huey bomb. And into the cover. Hernandez wins. Emphatic victory for the former world champion.
the mistake and Got that second attempt at the face buster and Hernandez with a spear. We're bombing. Wait a minute. Not that. That's Elden just pulling Hernandez off the top. What the hell is Elden doing? Attacking Hernandez from behind. And there's the Elden driver. And a cataclysm. <laughs> 